The warehouse is defending its handling of a planned rejig of its online shopping services after claims it was putting employees' mental health at risk. The company is looking to close 11 in-store centres across New Zealand and fill orders with two centralised warehouses instead. Now, the plan would result in 150 jobs at the regional centres being axed, although 100 new jobs will be created in the new depots. The warehouse's CEO, Pejman Okavat, says the proposed changes are the result of consumer demand. Whilst online is growing, the customers' behaviours, their expectations and how they work with us in stores is also significantly changing too. And our ability to provide for our customers in our stores is just as important as it is online. The last time we looked at how we were running our stores to meet the demands, the needs and the expectation of our customers was about six years ago, so quite a long time ago. So what we're doing is we've had to look at how do we provide for the customer needs better through to you better words to you, is a bit of a re-rostering changes across eight of our stores. The best thing you can do, Alex, is actually you've got to test this out live. Whilst we've been running models behind the scene, we did over 4,800 measurements to make sure we got all our facts right, you ultimately want to run it live in stores with the customers and see the customer response and the team's ability to be able to change through this. I am very comfortable that the process that we've gone through, we've always done it and we will always do it in the future with people first in mind. OK, we so and let's talk about no the people of the... Sure. Uh, it sounds like you've got some really good feedback from, from the customers Absolutely. there. What's the feedback you've got from your own staff? So we're currently finalising the proposal stage, so we haven't gone live with this yet, so we've got about two more weeks to go through. We are and what do staff think of it so far? So far, the staff are very positive. I'm, I'm give, let me give you some indications. We've asked for our... when we. We've, given at the new rosters, we've asked for our team members to actually tell us about the preferences of what rosters they want to take. I can tell you, across hundreds and hundreds of team members, apart from two team members, every single one has engaged with the process, they have filled out the preference forms, and they want to kind of work with us to find uh, the right shifts and the rosters that work for them. And we're right in that part of the process where we're doing interviews and trying to redeploy our team members uh, to get the jobs that suits them and suits the families the most. OK, so you're saying redeploy. Does that mean that some staff are going to have to move if they want to keep their jobs or, or take on a new one? No, not necessarily. What, what that means is, uh, you know, if one department, uh, the hours have been reduced and one department, the hours have been increased, you know, during one shift, you may have to work across two different departments within the store. OK, but I mean, you are talking about shedding 150 jobs here. You're going to offer 100 a, a more. There's going to be some, some job shedding, some people being laid off. Are, are, you, are you offering... Uh, packages to them. Uh, Alex, you, if I'm if I'm allowed to kind of comment, you are mixing two different initiatives. The, the initiative we were just talking about, which was a re-rostering trial mm. across eight stores. Those eight stores actually, right at the outset, we were given more hours than we were taking away. So, so just to confirm, you're talking. The is this the pilot program that that was announced a, a couple of months ago, and it's it's Correct. caused some issues in, in particularly in Tauranga. There's stories coming out of there of people being given rosters, and they've got from from working full time, they've suddenly got two shifts on their roster. Uh, no, these are factually incorrect. And again, the other incorrect information that's been put out into media is that we've been giving people with zero hours or one hours and two hours. So it's that hasn't happened. Factually incorrect. Right. So, so people involved in that pilot program have had yes. a continuity of, of shifts. They, have, they will have continuity of shifts once we go through the process. We're working with that. There will be changes to people's shifts and hours, sometimes some days. Sometimes they have to start later than they did previously. And sometimes they may have to work across two departments in one day rather than previously they might have worked across one department. OK, so effectively in that pilot program, you're saying that you are not changing anyone's status from being a full-time worker to a part-time role? No, we, that may be an eventuality for some people, depending on what the outcome of the next two weeks are. I can't give you the exact numbers or confirm any of that at this point. In time. Right. And what sort of assistance are you giving people to prepare them for this? Because what Absolutely. people want is certainty at the end of the day. So how are you ushering people through this process? So that's what the point I was talking about earlier, which is, you know, we're very comfortable in our process. First of all, it's, it's fully transparent. We've held a number of official meetings with, with our HR department being present. From day one, we've offered every single team member uh, counselling support. This is an independent counselling support company that we work with. We've offered that to every single individual. And some team members have taken that up. 
and our store management team with the impacted team members, they would have had a minimum of two or three to up to five or six individual one-to-one meetings over the last few weeks. These are hundreds of individual meetings to ensure, A, people are okay, they're going through the process well, we answer the questions to the best of our ability and reassure them that we're here to do our best. Yes, this is a stressful time because people going through change sometimes is not, uh, is not without distresses, uh, but we're trying to do our best to make sure we look after our people. That's Warehouse and Warehouse Stationery CEO Pejman Okavat. It's-